This is going to be the Gettysburg Electric Trolley Part 16 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. In our last video, we were up near the Loop Stony Hill Wheatfield area by the 118th Pennsylvania Corn Exchange Monument, which is just up here on the right. The trolley proceeded in this direction toward the camera. You can see the sign for Dietra Brand Avenue, and then just to its right, two big boulders. They have always been called the Sims boulders because it was near those boulders where General Sims was mortally wounded on July 2nd, 1863. The trolley then proceeded this direction and went into Rose's Woods, just southwest of the George Rose Farm. It went through the little wooded area here between the Rose Farm and, of course, the bloody wheat field over here on our left. And when it entered the woods, uh, this was uh, more of a wooded, shady area. And we're going to talk about uh, the foundation, because this is probably where the foundation of the Gettysburg Electric Trolley is most evident on the Gettysburg battlefield. First here, the little bridge that crosses Rose's Run was actually built for the Gettysburg Electric Railway. You can see the stone foundation on either side of the bridge and how wide it is. Today, it's part of the Boy Scout walking trail, and there is a little wooden footbridge that crosses Rose's Run. However, the bridge, when it was put up in 1895, it was meant to support the weight of the trolley train, and that's why the foundation is much wider than the footbridge that you see there today. And again, you can see how evident that the uh, roadbed is still is. It's very high on each side here. And then, of course, because it's used for the Boy Scout walking trail uh, this day, um, uh, it's kept looking like a roadbed. It can be muddy and uh, at certain times of the year, and there's a lot of mosquitoes out here, so you do have to be careful if you decide to walk the walking trail. But this is the foundation of the Gettysburg Electric Railway. This has been the Gettysburg Electric Railway, part 16 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. 17 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And this area here in Rose Woods is very significant for several reasons. There's a lot of uh, actions that happened here with Georgia troops uh, fighting here on July 2nd. Uh, and actually in one video, a man, a captain from the 64th New York, Henry Fuller, was killed nearby. And in a Secret to the Battlefield video, I tell you the way to get to his marker, which is just up here, right against Rose's Run. I'll post those videos too, so if you decide to walk through here, you can actually visit probably one of the least visited markers on the Gettysburg Battlefield. But proceeding through Rhodes Woods, uh, heading out toward the Devil's Den area, the trolley proceeded, and at this point, this is the heart of the battle on July 2nd. I'm sure as the trolley proceeded in this direction across the two bridges where Rose Run, where crosses Rose Run, they did talk about the battles at the wheat field, Little Round Top. And of course, as we get closer here to Devil's Den, I'm sure Devil's Den began to be mentioned as well in this area. Right up here is the second bridge crossing for the Rose Wood area, uh, crossing Rose's Run. And again, just as in the first bridge, you can see the wide foundation that was originally meant for the Gettysburg Electric Railway. And today, it's just a small footbridge uh, for the Boy Scout walking trail. And again, these are the little secret to the battlefield that most people who come to the Gettysburg National Military Park uh, don't ever get to see or hear about. And this was the pathway that we walked uh, starting with video 16. Um, it is, I do want to mention here on part 17, that this is the area where uh, Anderson's Georgia Brigade fought on July 2nd, 1863. The 7th Georgia wasn't used much 
during that action. They were actually guarding Union Cavalry. Um, and then, of course, on the 3rd, they were pushed down southbound on the Emmitsburg Road to protect the Confederate right in probably the last action at Gettysburg, the fight for the Emmitsburg Road near the Cornelius Hoodland Farm uh, on July 3rd, 1863, from 2 to 9 p.m. at night, ending the Battle of Gettysburg. The 7th Georgia Infantry was a part of that action. As we get to Brook Avenue here, we'll pick up on our next video. This has been the Gettysburg Electric Railway, Part 17, on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Electric Trolley, Part 18, here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And we just crossed Brook Avenue, modern-day Brook Avenue, and we're heading toward the Devil's Den area. Again, this is part of the original trolley uh, bed that we are walking on, and today is used as the Boy Scout walking trails. We just passed through the Rosewoods, now on to the Devil's Den area, which of course was known as Halkris Ridge in 1863. Um, there was a small farm over here that does no, no longer exist called the Timbers Farm. And I did shoot a Secrets of the Battlefield video on the Timbers Farm that once existed uh, there in 1863. The trolley... Uh, entered here and this was a very uh, particular piece of ground that it was very offensive for the trolley to have cut through. This is where Texans and Alabamans and Georgians crossed across these fields right here where the trolley bed is on their attack on Devil's Den and Little Round Top on July 2nd, 1863. Some of the most deadly fighting took place in this very rocky, uh, rough ground here on July 2nd, 1863. And when the Gettysburg Electric Railway uh, desecrated the battlefield land, this was one of the spots that was destroyed the most. Up here around the bend, there was an area called the Big Fill where they actually took filler dirt building up the roadbed for the Gettysburg Electric uh, Trolley. Uh, they built a bridge across Plum Run, uh, of which some rocks can be, still be seen today, and we'll take a look at that. Of course, the Timbers Farm was here in the distance, and uh, as the railway proceeded in this direction, this is where they began to talk about the battle for Devil's Den. We will pick this up in our next video at Big Phil. This has been the Gettysburg Electric Trolley, Part 18 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Part 19 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And on Part 18, we begin coming into Devil's Den, and we're going to proceed here. This is the big fill area of the Gettysburg Electric Trolley. Uh, a lot of the boulders that were here were destroyed, and a lot of fill was put up here. You can actually see rocks up here, but with drill marks in them. The quarry that we looked at earlier in our Devil's Den series is just up the hill there. The trolley proceeded around Devil's Den on the southern end here of the uh, Devil's Den area before crossing Plum Run. And after it crossed Plum Run, um, there was a sideway again. And at this area um, was probably the biggest accident that happened in 1910 and we're going to talk about it in our next part but here in part 19 uh, we're going to be going down the southern end of Devil's Den to the Plum Run Bridge. This bridge is very much like the ones that we we crossed on the Rosewoods except that the bridge no longer exists and there's no wooden footbridge. The foundation has collapsed actually into the run and it's right up here ahead. Of course, you can see the Elephant Rock and southern end of Devil's Den, little round top over here, the Slaughter Pen Witness Tree. But the trolley proceeded to wrap around Devil's Den, crossing Plum Run at this point right here. And you can actually see what was the foundation of the uh, electric trolley's uh, 
bridge supports right here on the side. And that is what exists of it today. This has been the Gettysburg Electric Trolley, part 19 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Part 20 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And right here at the bend in the road was an awful collision on Monday, August the 15th, 1910. Um, there were people hurt. One of them was hurt uh, seriously when two cars, uh, the Slocum and the Sedgwick, collided in this area. Uh, one of those people that was hurt was actually a man who worked here uh, on foundations and monument bases at Devil's Den. But this was a, a collision in 1910, and pretty much this was the end of the Gettysburg electric trolley. After this collision happened, uh, imminent domain had already taken effect. It was in the process. But now it was proven that the trolley had gone into a state of disrepair. Um, it was unsafe. And that through modern avenues, which were being constructed from 1903 on up, that there were better means of transportation through the Gettysburg National Military Park than the Gettysburg Electric Trolley. So it was only a few years after this that the trolley was removed, and then following a year later, the tracks removed. This has been the Gettysburg Electric Trolley, part 20 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook.